Hello YouTube. Today's video we're going to look at uh, modifying the uh, stock ammeter on the dash, uh, the non-rally dash on my 68 satellite. So we got it sort of apart here, so let's have a look at what we're going to do. Welcome to Retire Ready. Alright, I got my my uh, instrument cluster out. I've already yanked out my old alternator. The fault well, it wasn't faulty, but they're known to have problems, and I didn't want to have problems. So I had my dash fall apart for some other work. So I wanted to have a look at this and see how it's going. So actually, I've already taken the bolts out. And this cover just slides right off. Put that to the side. Uh, right in this spot was the old ammeter slid in there. Uh, you have to loosen off this uh, the fuel gauge to uh, to get it out. See, it's almost all completely out there. You fit behind there, and. I've seen it on some forums and B, uh, for B bodies only. The adaptation, take out this series ammeter and put in a voltmeter. So my plan today is, I went and bought this Bosch voltmeter and I am going to fit it behind this plate here and take out this old one and see if I can modify this new one. So, uh, boy, looks, my meter's moving. <laughs> A little windy here, so. Anyways, uh, that's my plan. I've taken this out of the package. Take off the one not here. Got the clamp that holds that on. Holds in the face plate or the, say the under dash mount. But I want to break this apart. It's a sealed unit. So I have to figure out a way to get this apart. It looks like it's crimped along this edge. Because I don't care about the case, some people were suggesting you either cut slots in this or something just to kind of break it apart and the, and the cap should come off. So I'm going to give that a shot. I guess one thing, I could probably grind it too and that might pop it off, but uh, try it out. Oh yeah, that might have come up all in once here, uh, getting close. Ride that off. Okay, I'm getting there. Let's cut another couple pieces here. And it looks like it might be. There you go. Look at that. The whole ring is off. <laughs> Here's the glass piece. Here's the plastic ring. Bosch insignia. Now I can get at the guts of this. So, in the back you can see there are two 
uh, two nuts holding the studs on, I am going to pull them off next. This is what's inside one of these voltmeters. Couple little resistors in there. And what I'm liking is the fact that this hand is orange. Which is very similar to that. I guess it's a different orange. But uh, I may or may not glue this old Mopar orange one onto the, onto the new one here. So I'll see. So I'll try and get this faceplate off next. Okay, two little screws. Tiny little guys. They held on this faceplate. So now. I have a bare bones voltmeter. I'd say from from here to the face, I'm probably looking at about three quarters of an inch, something like that. This will have to fit in front of this. And I think it's gonna be pretty close. Okay, on this old voltmeter, there's two rivets here. I'm going to drill these out. That should disconnect them from the. So, I'll see if I can do it on camera here. <laughs> that actually uh, <laughs> broke. It's just a little bit of micarta uh, fiberboard. When that caught, it threw that off. It broke off here and it flung it across here. I mean, I'm not worried about it. I'm not going to use it again. A little bend on the needle. But it should be all right. Well, I think what I'm going to do is I am going to cut this needle off here. I'm going to glue it uh, to this needle. Just make it look uh, the same, I guess. Okay, on this old piece here, I have drilled out the old pieces. So this is just totally separate now. And... almost see how this is going to work here. Actually, it's looking pretty good. It's looking like from a depth Perception. I 
I might have to bend might have to bend this back a little bit It's hard to see, but inside here is a little bit of a back piece. I don't know if it was stuck to the plate or just holding the plate, this old, this plate from moving back, probably. Might file that off a little bit. Hard to see. Yeah, there it is. Might have to file that back a little bit just to give me a little more space here, but it's pretty close. It's Probably going to be all right. And I might have to have seen on some other guys that have done this. They've, they've done a little bit of a dremeling here or a little bit of filing. Just so there's no interference. I'm going to give that a shot. Okay, what I'm going to try, I, I measured out these bolt bowl lineup. Uh, the old bolt, or the, sorry, the new voltmeter, uh, the uh, the bolts and the uh, and the uh, threaded part that held on the faceplate there are slightly uh, slightly bigger than this opening. So I'm going to just take a file and I'm going to make this a little bit open, a little bit more open, and I might be able to fasten this in slots here. Uh, I'll uh, I'll do it and I'll show you what I mean. You kind of see right above this hole. I, I've notched a little, notched a little bit there. I'm gonna do that on the top now, and that might be enough actually to hold this in in place. We'll, we'll see. Give it a shot. I can always take off a little more. That's the end of part one. Stay tuned for part two.